Hey, it's Nate with Enoch Magazine, and I'm up in Ventura with the Darlings. I'm Nate. So you guys, <laughs> you guys have been on this tour for uh, what, 70 dates now? Fucking awful. Long time. You've got, you got one more to go. Yeah. When you're on such a long tour, how does the dynamic of the band work? It's I don't know. Fun. Waffle House. Video games. Cracker Barrel. True Grit. Flying higher is achievable with various objects, objects such, such as wires. wires. <laughs> is that <laughs> mix, mix, yeah, right. Basically, we're yeah. insane from being on the road for two months. Basically, we're all crazy. <laughs> a little bit. You guys fall into what I'd like to call Americana punk rock. Yeah, you know we'll know take that. Bit. You'll take that. You heard yeah, that one before? Came like, from yeah, America. yeah, yeah. Like it came song. from America. And, uh, I love, I love Americana music relating back to the country in the 50s. Yes, what are yes. some of you guys' influence to, you know, infusing your music today? Rolling Stones, Chuck Berry, uh, Thrice. Muddy Waters. I listen to everything. I'm a big metalhead, too. Elvis Presley. We're, you know, the cool thing is, Sabbath. That, is that we all have different influences, but I, we like find common ground as well, you know? So... It, it comes together and it works, you know? No, none of us ever throw something like so far out of left field to where we're like, oh, I've never even heard of that. Like, we're always kind of like, but I think we're all influenced by, by everything. It's funny how Fallen feels like flying for a little while. Just for a little while. As I've been listening to a lot more Americana lately, I've found that a lot of religion, especially Christianity, is tied into Americana. Very Christian. What is your guys' perception of Jesus? He is, a, well, he's a, well, his dad is a single father, you know what I mean? He's True. the son of all, you know, that is righteous. And, uh, I kind of picture him like, I like to keep those things to myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> I kind of picture him like singing lead for Skinner, you know? <laughs> like with like a, <laughs> like a t-shirt tuxedo on, like it says like I'm formal, but I'm here to party. Too, I think, you, know? you guys ever see that Family Guy episode where, Jesus comes back and he's a lot shorter than everyone. He's like, people were just shorter back then. What did you guys expect? So I think that's kind of... I mean, you know what? The conspiracy stuff is fun and all, but Jesus is real. Praise God. That's it. That's, all right. that's our take you guys, on it. You guys This interview live. is over. <laughs> <laughs> you guys live in the Los Angeles area. My yes. wife and I lived on Skid Row and worked with the homeless for a year down there. Nice. Have you guys had any experiences with the homeless or uh, with Skid Row? Uh, you know what? A little bit with Skid Row because I skate down there a lot. And you know, man, a lot of people give the homeless, and this is a serious tip, we've been funny, but yeah, a lot of people give the homeless a hard time. And I mean, you know what I mean? It's tough out here, dude. This ain't no f***ing joke, the world, especially nowadays. And I saw that there's this guy in a wheelchair with no teeth, and uh, I, I think I gave him every dollar I had in my pocket. We were in, uh, this was uh, San Diego, you know? And it's just, people, they just want to talk to somebody, but I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, I think I you nailed it. <laughs> I think you got it. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do in this case? As you guys travel the country, you know, there's more to just being in a band than the music at times. You know, you get to eat at cool places yeah, and yeah. see different things. What are some things you think people need to get out of their houses and check out in the United States? The White House is cool. Just go travel. Just yeah, get out and save your day job. Yeah. F it, sorry about that. F your day job, like, Stop sitting behind the cubicle and just get do what you want to do. Like, what were you guys doing before the Darlings? Go. Uh, we were playing in other bands, all of us. Oh. Right? No. Yeah. I mean, I've known Chris since we were 14 years old. Like he had a band that lived down the street from me. So we all had different bands, and we've all kind of had day jobs over the years and stuff. So this ain't our first. This ain't our first rodeo, cowboy. What what day job were you working before this well, band? I, I, I still I cut hair. I'm a hairstylist. And a magician. All these fine. Were you cutting hair upstairs? Yeah. 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 Oh, I saw that. All the guys, like, all, all, well, he cuts his own hair, but my boys, the guys from Strung Out, face to face, they've all, they've all gotten fixed up. Yeah. I hope they're paying for you, though. We, like, yeah. yeah. we have an arrangement. So, and then uh, and I do magic. I'm a magician as well. Josh, you're, you're, are you really in magician? Yeah. 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 He's a triple threat. He's a magician, box. beautician, yeah. magician. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, that's hey, the end of the interview. So let's let's talk this then. You're into magic. Yeah, magic Castle in Hollywood. Yeah, oh yeah. Are you really? Yeah. So if you, get, you tell us a little bit for those who don't know what the Magic Castle is. Uh, it's a private club for magicians and uh, it was built <laughs> it was it's built out of a house. It was built in like 1900, 1902. 
And in the 60s, it turned into the castle, and it turned into a clubhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's private. It's a private club up in Hollywood. And uh, it's gonna take a really long time. To go, you have to be a member. What if I just like got another? Well, the house was actually built on a foundation. No, it's you know, it's a cool spot. It's a cool spot. You know, cool. And if you've never been, you have to, be to find in the dark someone. Circle. Yeah, so, yeah, find someone that's a member and go. Yeah. It's a cool spot. Have you guys got to check it out? They all have. Yeah, I haven't I been there. When I was like super little. I haven't gone since. Me and Buddy go. We went on Valentine's Day together. And yeah, we had fun, man. Oh, yeah.